Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. Today we're gonna go ahead and do a density column lab. So look at all the materials that we're gonna be using today. Make sure you are set up and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So you're gonna take your graduated cylinder, the smaller one, and take the mass of that on your balance. For a starting read, we have 26.1 grams. Okay, so go ahead and add 10 milliliters of your alcohol to the graduated cylinder. We're gonna take the mass of that again. The mass is gonna come out to be 34.6 grams with the alcohol inside. So we need to subtract that from the empty graduated cylinder and we end up getting 8.5 grams. And that is the mass of our alcohol alone. In order to find density, do your mass divided by your volume. So 8.5 divided by 10 milliliters and you end up getting 0.85 grams per milliliters for the alcohol. Okay, we're gonna repeat this whole process for water. So get your 10 milliliters, go ahead and put it on your balance. We recorded that we had 35.9 grams with the water. So subtract that from your empty graduated cylinder and we end up getting 9.8 grams. And we're gonna go ahead and divide that mass by the volume, 10 milliliters, and we end up getting 0.98 grams per milliliter. And that is the density of water which we know density of water is one, so that's very, very close. And we're on to the next substance, oil. So again, fill it to 10 milliliters. Take your second measurement on the balance. We end up getting 35.1 grams. Subtract that from the empty graduated cylinder and you end up getting 9.0 grams. Divide that mass, nine, by 10 milliliters, which is your volume, and you end up getting 0.9 grams per milliliter, and that is the density of oil. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this whole process with syrup. Okay, 10 milliliters of syrup goes in your cleaned graduated cylinder. Make sure you are cleaning these out every single time you do this. Um, and then we are gonna go ahead and take the measurements for that, and we end up getting 39.3 grams for our syrup with the graduated cylinder. Subtract that from the empty graduated cylinder and you get 13.2 grams. Divide that by your volume, which is 10 milliliters, and you end up getting 1.32 grams per milliliters as your density of syrup. Now we're gonna put them in order. So we're taking our larger graduated cylinder and we're gonna start to make our density column. We want the most dense substance at the bottom, which is gonna be our syrup with 1.2 grams per milliliter. So we're gonna give that a pour. Then we're gonna continue up and get less and less dense as we get to the top. So the least dense substance is gonna be the one at the very top. Water comes next at 0.98 grams per milliliter. Well, you can see that I'm gonna slightly tip this sideways so that I can get it without really mixing the water too much into the syrup. I will give it a second to kind of settle down before I add my next substance though, um, just so y'all know, and you can see how clearly defined that layer is. So our next one up is gonna be oil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process with oil, kind of tipping the graduated cylinder over, but not too much. I don't wanna do it enough where I'm mixing the layers, but I do wanna do it enough where I have a nice slow steady pour and I'm getting those defi very defined layers and my substances are not mixing. Alcohol comes up last at 0.85 grams per milliliter with the lowest density of any of the substances here. Notice I did color code these. I just added a little bit of food coloring to my alcohol and my water. So you could see the layers a little bit clearer. Um, I do recommend doing this so you can see it very, very neatly. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some solids. The first one we're adding is a piece of candy corn. We're gonna drop it in and see where it lands. This one's gonna take a minute, but it will end up going all the way to the bottom. The next one that we're putting in is gonna be a black eye pea, which is just a bean. And we're gonna see where that one ends up landing. So here I go, I'm gonna drop it in right now. And you can see that it goes through the first three layers and it sits right on top of the syrup. So it is less dense than syrup. The next one is a bead. This is just a little plastic bead. And you can see that it is sitting right on top of the water. So it is less dense than water. And the last one that we're putting in is going to be a marshmallow. And the marshmallow is floating on the top. 
So therefore, the marshmallow is the least dense out of any of these substances here. So here's our final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this density column lab video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Shoot me down in the comments and tell me how much you enjoyed it. Subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye.